Welcome to our Azamara Quest Australian Adventure. We'd been planning this bucket list trip since Carol retired almost 18 months ago, and we were very excited to be exploring this part of the world for the very first time. Our journey began at the Renaissance Hotel at London Heathrow Airport. Despite there being no COVID restrictions for entering Singapore or Australia, Azamara still insisted on a pre-embarkation COVID test. After spending £130 and enduring a very nervous wait, to say we were relieved when we got the results would be an understatement. After a very comfortable stay at the Renaissance Hotel and a very pleasurable flight with Singapore Airlines, we touched down in Singapore. As part of the cruise package, we paid Azamara for a transfer from the airport to the port. So imagine our disappointment when we were told by the Azamara rep that we would have to wait three hours for our minibus to arrive. Thank you. Yeah. You ready to get on, Paulie Morgan? You have nearly fallen over that. Yeah. <laughs> We're here, we're tired, but the ship's just over there, so let's go. We arrived at the port full of hope and expectations. Little did we know that we would have another three hour wait before we would board the ship. When we were eventually invited up to the desk to produce our documents, at no point did they ask to see the results of our COVID tests. In fact, when we spoke to other passengers, they were told that they didn't have to take a COVID test. So not only had we had an evening before our flight that was full of stress, we also completely wasted £130. Right then, so we're tired, we're irritable. Um, it's been a long job, hasn't it, getting on Azamara? It's been a lot, I've got to be honest, I yeah. thought um, Singapore was known for its um, efficiency. Um, yesterday, flew with Singapore Airways, it took um, an hour and 45 minutes to drop our bags off. Yes. Which meant that we missed most of our airport lounge that we paid for. Yes. So, <laughs> but good flight, good food, good service. You can't really see it, but here's the Azamara Quest. There she is, she's only small, behind that building. Um, but basically, we um, were picked up from the airport at 11 o'clock. It's now, what's the time? It's now two o'clock, we've been sat for three hours um, and there's not many people here, is there? Yeah. So it's been a little bit frustrating. But anyway, we're getting on the ship I think and we can't wait. Had, if they'd have had the team that they got here in Southampton when there's 5,000 people getting on the Iona, yeah. I think your holiday uh, would have been over before but you anyway, got on. So but, let the yeah. positives begin, but we... So look at this, This is is this sign the best sign in the world? To the ship. Yes. Right then, so we've just done muster. It was literally a five minute video. Yes, it's we've good. had a glass of bubbles, <clears throat> so things are looking up. So now we've got to go and find our cabin. And we're 8015. Is that right, Paulie Morgan? We have no idea. We have no idea where we are. Right, 8015. So this is. Oh! <laughs> ah, thank you very much. Cheers. Oh, there's our case. <laughs> ah, here it is. Oh, that's by the lift. That's very handy, isn't it, Paulie? So one case has appeared. We well, can't get wait to get rid of that backpack, can you, mate? Yeah, we are. We're a bit weary, aren't we? Backpack's just. Feels <laughs> like I've got like oh, ten, ten men oh on my back. Oh, look at this. And Carol's <laughs> just hit me with her backpack. <laughs> Not huge. But very plain, isn't it? But look at that. Oh, what do you think? I don't know, it just seems a bit bland, doesn't it? Shut, that <laughs> Shut that man up. Tell you up. But we've got water and we've got. So oh, I know what you mean. It's, um, it's oh, safe. It's definitely. And is that a Frigidaire? Frigidaire. Yes. And we've got stuff, a little mini bar. We've booked a Balcony Plus, isn't it? No, I don't know what we get. What we no. Get, 
So we've got a balcony plus. And we've got a balcony. Look at these lights. And that's better, isn't it? Yeah. That's better. Oh, and lovely big um, mirror there, Paulie. And all our information's here. Shore excursions. We've got lots of plugs. So we've already got three, um, some Euro plugs and some flats. So um, excellent. And let's have a look at the balcony, Paulie. Lovely. Oh, and they've got good... Oh, you feel the heat. We're obviously in Singapore. Look, there's a cable car over oh, to Sentosa well. Island. But what lovely seats. Look at that. Oh, that's fantastic. Is that nice? And we've got a big table. So it's like a dining table, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. So this is lovely. <gasps> Look at this. So, yeah, so that's nice. Loving um, the balcony. And like you say, we've got all what we've got here. All drawers. Now, let's go and have a look at the bathroom because we've heard um, the bathrooms are quite small because it's, these are quite an old ship. They're the old R class ships. Um, but that's got good. Uh... We can say it's a small bathroom, isn't it? We've got robes, we do like a robe, oh, don't we, Paul? Now, the please, Paulie's very happy. I don't want to, um, you know, Paul, this is, Paulie has a rant time. Um, I love Cunard, but for some reason they think that people want to steal their clothes hangers. Nobody wants to steal your clothes hanger. You, the people give clothes hangers away like they're going out of fashion. You can't even say it, probably can I know I can't because uh, it frustrates me that much. <laughs> there's nothing, well, I'm not going to say there's nothing worse because obviously there's millions of things that are worse, but it's really annoying when you're trying to hang your clothes up and you have to find your And they put a nice little white one in there for you, look, Paulie. Do you see? Yeah, that's from my dress, isn't it? <laughs> ah, right then, so, bathroom. Bum, bum, bum. I wouldn't bother <gasps> I wouldn't even bother us that small. Oh, it's not too bad, is it? Floor space, so that's okay. But yes, if you look at the shower, for me, that's going to be fine. Let's get the poorly to stand in there. A dreaded curtain again, isn't it? I will say about that curtain. It's not, um, it's not like plasticky. No, it like, looks um, like a proper heavy cut. Yeah, it's like, yeah. It's like but shoulder-wise, you can get your shoulders in, but it well, is, I um... Go, well, I have to go this way. I couldn't go that way, because if I stood that way... No, you could go over... This is out of the shower. What is out of the and shower? Your arm. My arm, well, look. So this is the yes. this point of the shower, and there's water just running <laughs> at me now. Anyway, Which we'll have to... <laughs> But yeah, so yeah, so that is small. So what we'd heard about it being small showers yes. certainly wasn't. Um, but we are in this cabin for twenty five days, so we will be giving you a proper tour, a proper Paulie sat on the toilet, <laughs> won't we, Paulie Morgan? Because we're off to where are we going, Paul? Um, I don't know. Australia. We're going to Greece. No, we're not. Uh, Turkey. No. Bali. Ba oh, yeah, Bali. Yeah. Bali and Australia. Oh, no, we're going to eat Turkey, aren't we? Anyway, so we're going to um, get unpacked. We're going to have a snooze because we're absolutely shattered after flying in from the UK. Right then. Oh, right then. So we've just had a, a very lovely two-hour power nap just to, to get some, feel a bit more human. So sorry if we're a bit grumpy early, but we were so tired, weren't we? Well, I'm sorry if one of us was a bit grumpy here, yeah? No, we both were. We were just so tired after that long flight and then just the wait around and the slow embarkation. But anyway, we're on, we're in, we're refreshed. Um, let's say, because we haven't seen much, we literally came from the cabaret lounge straight to here, straight to bed. So, um, as I said, first impression of the room is just a little bit... I thought we'd have a bit of a wow factor walking in, but it's very... I mean, it's nice and it, it's... Well, what do they say? You only get one chance to make a first impression. And our first impression is... Oh, that's nice. Oh, well, it's all right. Isn't it? yeah. yeah. So, but the bed is just comfortable. It's totally functional. The shower, even though it is on the smaller side, boiling hot and lovely. Oh, the shower's just, lovely. Yeah. But I've just had... Carl went first. I've just had my shower. And even though I had the curtain pulled around, the whole of the bathroom floor was like... Um, well, it was like a submarine had been in there, really. A submarine? Yeah. And it come up... <laughs> 
Anyway, yes. so um, so we've sussed out um, the safe. We've got a really big safe which we can get all our stuff in. We've sussed out. We've got a little program. This is a little biddy program, and Paul's very excited because there's a place called the Den. The show in the football at o three hundred because it's World Cup time. I'm burnt out now. So what am I going to be? I like know, that? and we've got an excursion tomorrow. Yeah, that'd be all right. So and we've got our little book. So we're going to go and explore and take your own and show you as my request. And let's see if uh, if it um, starts to wear us soon. Let's see if you're more impressed with it than we are. <laughs> no, uh, well, I don't know. Maybe because it's a luxury line, we thought we'd walk into the cabinet, and be like, oh, but um, but it's not. But it's no, but to be that's fair, right. And I think, um, yeah, to sum up, this is by far. I mean, obviously, it's the longest cruise we've ever been on. But this, by a country mile, is the most expensive cruise we've ever been on. Yeah, a considerable amount. Yeah. And when we went into the cabaret lounge, and it's like. You know, the dance floor's a bit scratched and the table's ooh, that table's got a scratch and all that's got that table's got a chip out of it. Maybe our expectations got, are too I high. I don't know, but um and I know it's an older ship. Yes. But, um but well, we've only sure seen our, the cabaret yeah, lane. So the cabaret lane. The... Yeah. So the one thing we've seen we've been disappointed with. Well was it disappointed? I just wanna walk in and I thought, Oh, glitz. Did it while well, you? Yeah? It hasn't yet, no. but we've got 25 nights. But mm. now we've been asleep in here and we found we packed away our things. I put things in my place because you know I'm a bit of an organiser. I feel a little bit now, yes, the tranquility settled down after the grumpiness earlier. So anyway, we're gabbling now, so let's go and explore. Sadly, the tranquility didn't last long as we had to make our first visit to guest relations. Before the cruise, we purchased two Wi-Fi packages one for each of our phones. But when we tried activating the Wi-Fi, it would only let us do it on one of our devices. We explained this to a member of the guest relations team, and despite the fact they didn't know who we were or what cabin we were staying in, he immediately told us that we'd only purchased one Wi-Fi package. We then told him our cabin number, he tapped a few buttons, and he still insisted that we'd only bought one package. Carol then produced the invoice for our cruise, which clearly showed that we had two Wi-Fi packages. He then very begrudgingly said, oh, that does seem to be the case, and took my phone off me and loaded up the Wi-Fi. We were pleased that our Wi-Fi had been sorted. We were not pleased with the abrupt and dismissive attitude that we were met with. So let's leave the negativity behind and get on to some positives. Right then. Right then. So, after our grumpiness earlier um, and just being so tired, we've explored the ship and oh my. They say first impressions. You only get one chance to make a first impression. We just had a second impression <laughs> and it was absolutely spectacular. Yes. Well, let's start with the pool area that we're sat. Yeah. It's a beautiful pool. Some beds look like they've got really thick cushions for just snoozing on. Um, decent sized pool for the amount of um, passengers on the ship. Yeah. There's 700 passengers on the ship. It doesn't feel like it's at capacity whatsoever, but we'll let you know um, what the actual passenger capacity for this trip is. Um, so the pool area and the sun deck and the view over the bay of the ship is, is fabulous. It's beautiful. Then we went inside and we went to the den. Now the den is where the football should be played later and beautiful bar. Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah. Piano player that's obviously a very, very talented man um, that did all sorts, didn't he? And yeah. had a really lovely, just chilled atmosphere in there. Yeah, and service. The service has been superb since we've been on it. Going, going back to second first impressions, that the one thing that we've noticed already, loads and loads of staff. Yeah. You don't have to wait for anything. But we've just gone to the buffet for our uh, no. our dinner. And, you know, we've been to some cruise ship buffets and there's one or two people running behind the counters because they haven't got enough staff. I mean, th there is just, like, so many people behind there. The yeah. food, oh my. It was a Japanese buffet tonight. And when you think things can't get any better and then you go to the tempura prawn station, <laughs> yes. you know that you're in heaven. Exactly. So, but you were very controlled, you only had four. I was, only had four. You only had four. Yeah. Yeah. I, asked so, for, I asked for more than that, but he wouldn't <laughs> let me. Uh, so there you are. So there, so your Japanese food. I had the most tastiest ramen and then I had um, pork skewers, no, chicken skewers, beef skewers and the most awesome vegetables. Yeah, so 
we've heard the Azamara food is good, but that was superb, as wasn't a, it? That was the first meal, that was definitely yeah, uh, definitely up all the there. Yeah, yeah. That was so our second impressions are, oh my god, yeah. first and impression, mm, second impression. Oh, yeah, so so far so good. So we're now going to suss out where there's a little bit of evening entertainment on. I'm not sure how we, long we're going to last because well, we're the, absolutely the problem is I'm, I'm, I haven't got to because I'm uh, you know I'm an adult. I'm going to make my own decisions. But England's playing in the World Cup against France. And because of the time, time difference, we're eight hours in front of the so UK. So it's, it's 3 a.m. kickoff. They are showing it. So um, do I go for the big one and power through till three? No. Or do I have a nap in between? I don't know. Uh. We'll find out later. Hopefully, it won't be sad faces, but you know, France are the world champions, reigning world champions. So yeah, we'll see. Well, I'm so happy. We will let you, we'll you, know, let you know. No, I'm going to say this because it, this is the truth. You know, Paul can get so grumpy. Today, I even got to the point where I thought, I'm getting so grumpy now. I can't keep him positive because I'm feeling really grumpy because it was such a slow embarkation. Um, that's something they definitely need to look at. However, now that we're on, it's absolutely amazing. Um, is isn't it, it? Is it as amazing? As amazing. <laughs> It, it has been the last hour and a half has just been yeah. like this is what we've paid for yeah. anyway we should go now and go and find that we're off to the cabaret lounge for the welcome show laters as you may have heard in our review video we hadn't heard particularly good things about the Azamara entertainment but nevertheless we headed for the cabaret lounge on deck 5 with a completely open mind as with most cruise ship welcome shows you get a little taster of things to come on the rest of your cruise. And we have to say, we were very impressed. After enjoying the show, the exertions of the day had finally caught up with us. So we headed back to the cabin for a power nap in readiness for the football. I was quite concerned that Azamara wouldn't be showing the football. But not only did they show it, they also laid on popcorn and soft drinks to make the event that much more special. I watched the first half in the bar and the second half in the cabin, but unfortunately results didn't go our way, so the less said about that the better. You can have breakfast delivered to your cabin every day and it's complimentary. All you need to do is fill out the breakfast menu and make sure it's outside your cabin door by one o'clock in the morning. Which is exactly what we did. Right then, so Paulie's got a little omelette with some breakfast potatoes. We've got juice and we've got danishes. Yes, I didn't know them. Um, and a lovely view. I didn't know about <laughs> breakfast potatoes, but I think they're the future. Have you tried one yet? No, I'll try one there, yeah. Nice. Yeah, nice. Yeah. <laughs> and I've just got some uh, some eggs with a piece of toast. So yeah, so we got our excursion for quarter to ten. We've got to meet in the cabaret lounge. So um, let's get uh, ready to rumble. What are you got to say, Paulie? Mm. I think if the weather stays like that, I won't be going anywhere near <laughs> the cabaret lounge. <laughs> oh yeah, we're on a sights of Singapore tour today. Mm, but I don't think... Uh, the view is going to be very clear. However, we'll let you know if we get on. Right, right there. Then. So, we've just got back from our excursion to Singapore and um, the rain stopped. <laughs> but that's why my hair looks like this, because we got soaked, didn't we? This is my bad pun of the video. We now know why it's called Singapore. <laughs> Ah, yes, it was rather That's heavy. a genuine reaction, because I've been keeping that one to myself. <laughs> All the way back on the bus, I thought, oh, I'm going to use that. Oh. Should I have bothered? No. No, I <laughs> So our excursion, the first stop was the Gardens of the Bay, which yes. um, we couldn't really see a lot because of, of the torrential rain, but as you can see from these videos... What, because of Singapore? <laughs> I'm going to keep using it. <laughs> <laughs> Day one of the ah, cruise. On lovely. A, on a sightseeing tour of Singapore. <laughs> Look at this. It's lovely, ah, isn't it? It is. Somewhere behind us, but we can't work out how to get it on the camera. Oh. Where is it? Down, 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 left, right, right, left. Where is it? What are you doing? 
Serena Bay Sands behind us. I'll try and get a video now through the rain. Luckily, we'd been there before, so yes. we weren't we weren't too worried about exploring it. But uh, you know, we're glad we had a little rain. But yeah. oh my god, the rain was just yeah. mad, mad. It? But good to see the super trees, um, and good to see the Marina Bay yes. Bay in the background. And uh, if you want to go, it's fifty three Singapore dollars to get in. Um, well, obviously, was obviously included in our excursion, oh. um, but we couldn't make the most of it. We were only there for an hour. Um, so we just basically tried to keep out of the rain as much as possible yeah. and we took some photos but it was nice to see it again and then we went on the uh, the coach then took us for a drive around around the city and I think what we were talking about on the um, on the coaches it's just so diverse isn't it there is um, yeah it's one of these places where the architecture is so sort of random because you'll have um, you go to like India town and China town. Yeah. It's very authentic. There, there's mosques, there's temples, and there's just all these very old-fashioned. Well, are they? Didn't she say they were called shop houses? Yeah. And then you very colourful, very colourful, and pretty little streets. And, yeah. You know, and it's real hustle and bustle and busy, and loads of little restaurants and stuff like that. And then you'll get into like the um, financial the financial district. district, and there's some of them. But I know it seems daft because really, I like. I, our skyscrapers beautiful but they are in singapore oh my god they are just, they're all different designs yeah, absolutely yeah. spectacular and also the colonial part of the town where you find raffles yeah um it's yeah it's regular, quite an eclectic um a mix <laughs> eclectic that's a good word oh, isn't it yes. so we enjoyed that didn't yeah. we just having a uh, even though <clears throat> as you can see from these pictures it was through the coach windows because we couldn't get off yeah. to to explore because it was just so the weather's been just horrendous then we went up to the the viewpoint didn't we Oh, I'm trying to think what the bloody place was called now. Was it Mount Kilimanjaro? <laughs> <laughs> it was Mount something. Hang on. Well, we head up to Faber Point, which was um, up Mount Faber. So it wasn't Kilimanjaro then? No, it wasn't no, okay. <laughs> um, Yeah, Faber Point, absolutely spectacular views all over yeah. Singapore. And um, we may or may not show you this because I did a video about it at Instagram way, but I'm sure my colleague got one the other way. Colleague? And when, <laughs> hello there. <laughs> um, and when you're at the top of Faber Point, there's like a viewing gallery, and all around the gallery, there's arrows. Yeah. And when you stand on the arrow, it tells you what, what, you're, what you're looking at. Well, the or, location. Or it might be what you're looking at and you can actually physically see it, or it might be Manila, yeah. which is obviously... Uh, yeah. I don't know. No, I didn't take a photo of that. Oh, okay, well, just... <laughs> uh, well, but just, as you can see just, from these videos... Just visualise that, <laughs> and then look out for my short that I'm going to do, because one of us was organised and did a video of it, but the other one of us wasn't. I'm not going to say who was, who was the best. It was me. It was me. <laughs> Anyway, as you can see from these videos, um, a great <coughs> viewpoint. It's right by the cable car, so um, that's a, another thing to do if you're coming to Singapore. Yeah. The cable car that goes over to Sentosa Island. And if you look here, you can just see as I focus in, you can see the little uh, Azamara Quest. Um, and then we got back on the coach and we came back. So it was a bit of a whistle top yeah, tour. I think it's worth. Whistle top? What did I say? Whistle top. Oh yeah, whistle stop tour <laughs> of Singapore, and if you've never been, it's very good. the The lady was full of facts, wasn't she? Really, really knowledgeable. Yeah, um, she's um, comes from Chinese heritage. Her grandfather came here, yeah. and he was a labourer that used to unload the bags of rice off the steamships. Yeah, she was telling us. Yeah, and they were called. Um, little piglets. They were, yeah. That was, their, that was the name for the labourers that used to carry the rice off the steamer ships. Yeah. Except my granddad was a little piglet. Exactly. <laughs> but, said and like... I thought, is that a bit lost in translation? But she said, no, that's what they used exactly. to call them. But she um, lo loads of interesting facts. Only yes. 5.6 million people live on the island. Yeah. Uh, it's been independent since 1965. So yes. it's a year younger than me in his independence now. Yeah, and a year older than me. Yeah. So yeah. There you go. But yeah, very absolutely yes. fascinating. And it is, it is 
it's a fabulous place. Um, when we came here before, it, it it can be quite expensive in places like, uh, especially beer, because they're not big into drinking, so that yeah. reflects in the price. But if you go to like Little India, Chinatown, places yeah. like that, you can get food. They've got lots of hawker stores where you go into, you can go into, it's inside rather than like you go to Thailand, it's like on the streets. Yeah. But in here, they've got like sort of food halls. Yeah. But when you get inside, it's all the different hawker stores, and there's uh, you can get Chinese food, Indian yeah. food, you can get Malay food. So just everything that represents most, you know, the people that are living in Singapore. Yeah, no, it was great. So we're back on the ship, and first thing we're thinking of, oh, we're hungry. So we headed up to the Windows Cafe, um, which is a beautiful um, little it's buffet cracking. restaurant yeah, uh, with views, big windows, and a lovely little sitting outside area. I had a, a chicken broth soup, which was just delicious, followed by just a salad. We're trying to go quite healthy um, and see, we'll see how long that lasts, isn't it? Paulie had... I had um, like these p pasta little parcel things, but I can't remember what they were called, but you'll be able to see what they look like, yeah. if you can tell me, in a lovely tomato sauce. And I had it with some olive bread, yes. which was delicious. And because I'm very healthy, I was going to go and have a great big load of lumps of cheese with biscuits, and I didn't. No. I had two little eclairs. <laughs> They were only teeny beanies. Yeah, they were teeny beanie ones. They were fun size of clothes. Yeah. yeah. Service in there, absolutely fantastic. Yes, the service on the and, ship is just on point. And because we were in Singapore, and I would have tried it, but but they, they were using glass noodles, and we Well, prefer, the rice noodles. Well, the rice noodles, and we prefer um, yellow noodles, don't yeah. they? But they were doing uh, Singapore... Mm. chow mein the sp which well, is the, well singapore noodles which is a spicy one of our favorite yeah, noodle dishes but but we, we like egg noodles but we like egg noodles not the rice noodles, yeah so we we gave that a pass but it looked delicious but yeah so another second meal gets all the heads up we've also booked some speciality restaurants it gets the thumbs up what did i say heads up <laughs> We're still tired. She's tired. Do you know, um, after getting up for the football, we don't want to talk about the football, it's too yeah. depressing. But um, breakfast, we've just been out, so we come back to the... Sorry, what did you say? <laughs> sorry. So we've just come back. We're going to have a, a power nap because we're sailing away at four o'clock. Um, so, yes. So we're going to get our heads down for an hour and then in, we'll show you what uh, the rest of the day brings. Yes. After a brief power nap... We sat on the balcony and enjoyed our first sail away on the Azamara Quest. As the sun was beginning to set, we headed to the Windows Cafe where we enjoyed an American dinner buffet. As you can see, Carol had a very strange concoction and I enjoyed some fried chicken. There's an excellent selection of ice cream also available in the buffet. So we finished things off nicely with a salted caramel ice cream and toffee sauce and you'll be amazed to know that we shared. With dinner done we headed off to the cabaret lounge where tonight's entertainment was the very talented violinist Roy Theaker. Planned early night was scuppered when our new Australian friend Keith persuaded us to go up to the living room for one for the road, or as we now know it, a roadie. As you can see by how many people that were in there, it wasn't one for the road. We were actually the last people to leave the bar. Join us in episode 2 where we were woken at 3am by a Force 1 hurricane. 